Are we recording? Are we on? Yeah. It's another clan meet. I think that was Mark from Leeds. Da -da. The nice round here, aren't they? Oh, oh. Left you hanging. This is getting confusing. We've got two groups. Which these are the two reprobates who organise this weekend. Find my GS. What, what the hell is this? Wow. Just very far away. Just talk amongst yourselves. We're just going to do a little bit of video. I'm not like Dickie Vegas. I haven't got a film crew to do this. <laughs> right, folks, welcome. This is the next clan meet. We're down here in Biddeford, down in Devon, Cornwall. And we've got about 60 bikes here so far. What a turnout. Massive thanks to everybody that's come along. And we're off to have some fun. This should be interesting. <laughs> What's your name up there? Did you come from? This is TJ here. You might remember TJ from uh, the Wales vid that I did. He's the one that asked the question about the tree falling. If a tree falls down in a forest and my wife's not there to hear it, am I still wrong? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, we jolly well. All manner of bikes here. Obviously, there's the obligatory stack of GSs. But so, yeah, there's a nice mix. Your old Rob's come all the way down from Fife again on his S1000 RR. There we go, there's Pete, R1 Soul. Mega, what a turnout. Awesome, folks. Thanks so much for coming. There's Trev. Come all the way from Kent on his Harley. Good man. There's Mark here, Epic Motorcycle Adventures. You all right? How you doing? Another one on an S1000 RR. But he's got a new bike coming soon, so check out his channel. Boom. <laughs> Simo and Helen there, bless him. Thank you very much. Wow, look at this, folks. Look at this. We're not at your standards, Dickie Vegas, but this ain't bad for the third one. There we have 59 bikes, I think there is. Well, there was last night. There's a few more actually joined us today. So we're going to be over 60 now. So I wish I could tell you about the route. I haven't done my homework. I was sent the route by um, Brian and Mike, but uh, got to admit, I didn't really look because I thought, well, they'll be taking care of that. So they've got the route on Cali. I'm plotting it. And we're using the drop-off marker system. So um, what could go wrong? <laughs> right, we're all through. Happy days. Right, down with the visor. Nationals! Okay then, just a quickie, a little bit of admin, folks. If you're not sure what these clan rides are, I have a Patreon. Please don't turn off if you don't like Patreon. I understand, I totally get it. Not everybody's cup of tea, but I've got one. And there are quite a few people who support me on there. Massive, massive thanks to them. Effectively, I, I couldn't do what I do now full time without the support I get on, on Patreon. Because contrary to what everybody thinks, <laughs> I ain't making no millions on YouTube, I'll tell you that. So, I try to give as much back as I possibly can, and I sort of thought, well, what I'm going to do is, I like doing the meetups and the rideouts and stuff, well, I'm just going to keep that purely for those over in the clan on, on Patreon. I call my little community on Patreon the clan. So that's what this is. We try and meet up as, as often as we can, go away for weekends all around the country, book ourselves into a hotel, have a few beers, and have some fun. And the community being as awesome as it is, People have started volunteering to, to organise different meets. So we've, we've had Pete English, has done one right up in the oh God, North Yorkshire Moors. Simon Weir came along and did one up in the Lake District during the floods. And then Brian and Mike have kindly offered to sort this one out down here in Devon and Cornwall. So yeah, let's see what the day brings. Is it wrong that I'm slightly envious of those on sports bikes? I do miss them. I do miss them, I've got to say. I think I'm going to get the beast back on the road, the Jixxer. I think I might, I might try and do that. Slow down now, why you talk so mean? Good Lord, man, shit, it ain't what it's saying. You got a nice clothes, a nice shoes, boogie down that bar. There we go, we've got Trev up front on his Harley. He's a big old guy, Trev, as well. He's probably the same height as me, 6'3". Maybe even a smidgen more. 
and he rides that Harley all over the place. Everyone's, everyone's back in. Hi. It was like a party at my house back there. There was just silence. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> that was a bit of fun at the back, I tell you. Got shift on, catching up. Can't, can't use any of that footage, but you know. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of blurring in that, but... Can everyone hear me okay? Concentrate and try to keep this bike on the road. <laughs> I took a corner a bit wide. Oh, did you? Oh, there they are. There they are. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Nationals. Shoot him, pull, crack a jack, take off now, don't look back, but hey, don't you want to play? Oh, that's lovely looking at the snake of bikes up front. That's what I love about these meetings. They're on the same page. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Left you hanging. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> With it's a great Bay. drop of surfing down there. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks lovely. Is this tea spot? It could be splosh time. God, these folk are going to be able to retire after this, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Get the coffee on. Yeah, you don't want to be first in this group, do you? Getting the round in. Cool. <laughs> Oh, a bit of Baywatch going on too. Say so again? In enduro. <laughs> Mark saying I've got to put it in enduro. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> you got that gear to off right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. I was, sta I was standing up on the pegs, you know, it's got to be done. Right, splosh time. Right, that's a bit of splosh done, folks. Apparently there was a little bit of impromptu off-roading done on the way here. Where is he? Old Steve over there. We'll have a chat with Steve later on the Super Duke car. Went a bit off-road. <laughs> right, we're going to have to watch Trev here on the Harley. Let's watch when he starts this bike up. Ooh, nice V-strom over there. Do you know, I've still never ridden the V-strom. I have to take one of them out. Right, there we go. We're ready. Let's put the visor down because we're going to get a kick up of sand here. Well, All that's, I can hear is that Harley through someone's intercom. That's Viscount Pasty's bike. Is that Danny and Greg? They are with us in the group, but they live round here, so they might be peeling off. Are you staying? Yeah, we'll see. I'll see you soon. Okay, mate, no worries. Cheers, bud. Take it easy. Cheers. That was Viscount Pasty and Greg from uh, the Wales trip that we just did. Adventure Bike TV Wales trip we did, uh, was that two weekends ago now? So back on the road folks, looks like I think the next stop's about an hour or so away, luncheon stop. Should have changed battery, shouldn't I? What a plum. Nice no. We've got some extras in our group. This could be fun. <laughs> this is getting confusing. We've got two groups. You alright? You see what's happened here, folks? We've got mixed up with two groups. So we've got two different people doing the drop-off marker. Looks like they're set there splitting, they're separated. people coming up to him now and going, Mark from Leeds. Are you Mark from Leeds? Mark is the top box divider man. You might see his accounts on socials. Let's be 
been very kind. He's uh, sent some to me, so I need to I need to do them because I've got the like the BMW Vario top box there. But he does them for a whole range of other types of top boxes, and it's great if you want a little bit of order. It stops everything just being cluttered together. I I have a lining bag that I use in my BMW ones are about eight thousand pounds, whereas I just got a cheap cheap bag off of uh, Amazon thing. It's like twenty quid. Turned it off, sorry. Hang on. Hello, Pascal. DMC Intercom Mode. Are you there now, Mark? I am, mate. As soon as I turned around, I thought to myself, I think this might be a mistake. Hi, folks, these are the two reprobates who've organised this weekend. Ryan and Mike. Thank you very much, James. You're Top weekend well. so it's far. Been good, isn't it? This is a lovely little place, this. Yeah, this is Motorbello in Crediton, often called Union Road, but dead cool little bike cafe. Mega. It's awesome. And the fit is all in. I don't know how, but they have. Yeah. <laughs> nope. well, Top job. Top job. Dead awesome. What's happening this afternoon? Oh, so this oh, afternoon, we've Christies. got yeah, we've got lots more lovely stuff, and we're going up Exmoor and some really lovely rural stuff just like that. Uh, hopefully, away from the traffic, and I don't think it's going to rain. So we'll he's done it, it now. He's done it now. He's done it now. Yeah. yeah, I'll put them on. I'll put them on. <laughs> I, I didn't put any on. <laughs> Top stuff. <laughs> right, take care. Dark Dakasty. <laughs> Mark from Leeds. <laughs> this is where all the cool kids hang out. Best bike in the world. I'm into that. Couple of intruders. And uh, where is that? Ah, there we go. Look. This is the new Massey Ferguson variation on the Super Duke R. This is the off road version, this one. You can get a plow attachment, you can get trailers. And that is the new farmer. <laughs> Lind Lyndon Poskett, watch out, he's coming for you. Dakar 2023. <laughs> Let's come up, one, two, three. Right, so we've had some splosh, bike to eat. It's a great little place, that. I can't remember if it's called Union Road or if it's called Biker's Rest. But it's here in Crediton, and it's a cracking biker calf. They also have a bit of a and b going on there. So we've got a couple of rooms that you can book and stay in. Great place. Really good quality place. But anyway, we're now going to go and grab some fuel and then we're hitting the road for some more twisties. Let's do it. Cheers, Charlie. See you, pal. Cheers, dude. Right. They're nice around here, aren't they? <laughs> Civilised. Do that in London. While someone's doing that, the other one's stabbing you and nicking your bike. <laughs> right, the cameras are rolling. Anyone on intercom, the cameras are rolling. You're being recorded. Silence is golden. <laughs> right, I lied. I thought we were going for fuel, folks, but it uh, looks like we've got a bit of a run first. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. It better not be too far away, because I've got about 40 mile range. What have you been doing in that tractor to need petrol already? You know the people that we have, we warned everyone about? Like, don't be one of them that turns up at the start with no fuel. That was me. Yeah. I didn't fill up. <laughs> Lovely roads, aren't they? Nice and flowing. You just don't get this in the southeast. There's just traffic everywhere. It's rounding my tyres up. Lovely. Ah, definitely. The motorway yesterday. God, and they're still going. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> There we go. There so we got Mike at the back. Is the drop-off system working nicely? So everyone's just marking all the points as we go. And then Mike, with the it being tail end, he just comes along, scoops everybody up. Really good system, folks. It's called the drop-off marker system. Some people call it the uh, drop man system, or all this sort of stuff. Look 
that is the key when you mark the junction that is the key you do not move until the tail end charlie scoops you up because if you do move before the tail end's got you the whole system is gone then right let's get back on the twisties well, it's been a good day so far i tell you what normally on big group rides the pace is fairly sedate and okay you know bits like this yeah but there's been stretches this morning where <laughs> Especially when you're at the back and trying to catch up. It's been proper <laughs> rapid. It's been a lot of fun. Great roads. Great roads. Okay, massive, massive thank you to Brian and Mike for organising this. Really does take a, a huge sort of weight off, off me when people step up and say, right, can I organise the next one? Brilliant. So where do we go next? Well, you have to be part of the clan to be involved in this, folks. I'm sorry, but you know, I, I just feel like I, I should give something extra back to those who, who helped me in the clan. So that's why I do that. I hope you all understand. So if you're part of the clan, comment on any of the posts over on Patreon itself, or alternatively, we have a clan-only Facebook group, private group there. So if you're part of the clan, you get access to that, and you can have a chit-chat. So tell me, where do you want to... Uh, where do you want to have the next one? Yes, it is very windy. <laughs> bright lights, bright lights, lots of bright lights. Uh oh, what's occurring here? There's no cars for about. I know it's lovely, isn't it? It's been great so far. Oh no, do you know I just realised folks, I owe you a massive apology, I didn't clean my screen from the ride up yesterday. I do get comments from people going, great vid, but please clean your screen. I totally forgot, I meant to do it on this one. I'll try and sit up here so that that's how you're shot. <laughs> Lovely flowing roads. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too, people. What is not to like about this? Beautiful roads, stunning countryside round about you. Great group of people. Brilliant, love it. I never used to be a fan of big groups like this. It just wasn't my cup of tea. But you know, like, it's just something special about it. Everyone's starting to get to know each other. We've done a few of these now, so it's like we've got our own little wee group going on here. It's great. Similar to, like, Richie's Wild Bad thing. <laughs> Mike, Brian, awesome route, boys. Awesome route. Right, let's see if we can get people back in. Hello. Is there anybody there? Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, super duper, thank you very much. Tickety boo. How are you enjoying it so far? Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Mega, Root's awesome, isn't it? I was just saying. Root's fantastic. Yeah, what a great bunch of blokes as well. Yeah, definitely. The group's worked well, hasn't it? Like, in terms yeah, of yeah, riding, yeah. for sure. The dynamic's been fantastic. Big success. Loving it. Even the weather's been fantastic as well. Yeah, I'm lucky if we've been. It started raining earlier and I thought, oh no, don't, don't. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been good. And we still got this evening to come. Happy days. John Deere. We should have all gone in with the GSs. <laughs> I'd probably put them all to work. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Be out in the fields ploughing. <laughs> to be fair, Dakar Steve was nearly doing that this morning anyway. Somerset. Right, my lover, it's dropped to a chilly 12 degrees, people. I have to chuck another log on the fire. Just level one, you know, just take the chill off. Right, GSs, got to stand up. I'm not good, I don't worry. Oh, yes, look at that. Beautiful. It's Dakar Steve. Look, Dakar Steve. Good man, you? Good day. Ah, loving it. It's a bit windy. It's 
a slight bit of drama there, folks. <laughs> we had a slight issue. The Harley wasn't start, but thankfully, we got a Harley technician on the crew here. Got the Harley ticket over again. Let's get back on the road. Find my GS. It's not that one. It's about eight up there. It's none of these. Some Italian rubbish. It's not that one. <laughs> it's where mine won't start. <laughs> it's one for Richie Vida. Happy days. Here we go. We're good. Yeah, we're all good now, I think. Hang on, let's see if this starts. Oh, for God's sake, please start after the abuse I've just given them. Oh. <laughs> and we're off. We have done 135 miles so far. Awesome route. Awesome, awesome route. Have I said it yet? Awesome route. How good does that look? The big train of bikes. Awesome. Got to stop saying awesome. It's awesome. Or awesome. Awesome. Totally awesome. Monsieur Hastelow in front, R1 Soul. Very active on Instagram. Make sure you check his account out. It's not for the faint hearted. If you get triggered, offended, or politically correct, it is not the account for you. <laughs> Oh, it's a mini Stelvio here. Look at the old Cali Moto. Mark from Leeds. This is where I was having the issues with the Africa Twin DCT. It was just, even though I had it in manual mode, I would like be set up for one of those hairpins that say second. And just at the point where I'd lean it in and put the power on, it would just drop down into first. Apparently you can turn it so it's fully fully manual and it will not interfere i didn't know about that setting so i just had it in the standard manual mode and yeah it just kept overriding it for some reason i'm starving i've only had a cookie all day wasted away Steve. Barnstable. We'll go and see Nathan Millward. He's down this neck of the woods. So that's Brian right up ahead there. Then there's number one, number two, then us. Us, us, me and me. So you see here, watch Brian. He indicates. So the person behind straight away pulls over so we're nice and safe and marks <gasps> no pressure but it's us next oh what an awesome sticker Brian has on the back of his top box and he's got a classic one on the back of his lid as well good lad Brian came away with me to the Pyrenees a few years ago that's kind of how we met Brian was the one who was late for the ferry he got the vest of shame straight off for two days <laughs> world meet Brian. Brian, meet the world. What happened, Brian? What happened to you on the way to the ferry? Well, I turned up late and then uh, got searched. And then got searched. So these lovely gentlemen have uh, all decided that you get the vest for the first two days. There you are. I'll just pass that over. Congratulations. The vest of shame. Thank you very much. Awesome job, man. Awesome, awesome job. Well done. Really that. Good. Yeah, I have as well. It's been a really good day. I'll just, I know it's obvious, but I'll mark this junction just in case. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could be here for quite a while. This will give you an idea as to how many people are on this. There are, sh just talk amongst yourselves for the time being. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, so I'm going to get fuel. Hiya! <laughs> I love how nationals and hiya! It's all caught on. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to get a higher t-shirt, I know. I got a few ideas, but I don't think they'd be allowed by the politically correct bugger him. Let's do it anyway. And there's Taylor and Charlie Mike. What a top job. What a top job he and Brian have done today. Awesome. I might have to buy them beer. And that is us back at the hotel. Let's go meet everybody. We're not done yet, folks. Hang around. We're not done yet. Bosh. Happy days. That was fast, man. <laughs> Enjoy it. Good, awesome. Right, bar. See you like trying to get in the bar. Oi! Oi! What, what the hell is this? Oh! Bad. No loyalty, none. Look, look, you don't, you look. Don't see, look, look, see? Nationals. Who's that? Right over here, see? Aye. Oh, eh? Yes, yes, yes. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. stinks. Bloody cheek of it. You know what I mean? It's bad. Do you want to give a shout out to Dorothy, Rob? Right, Doc. Hey. I'm going to my bed in a wee while. Anyway. Right. I'll not be up for much longer. Dorothy, he drank all the Talisco whiskey. The whole bar, the Talisco whiskey's gone. I told him no. It's my job. <laughs> Robin, how was the day? Oh, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. For a first time at clan meeting, it was brilliant. Excellent. Really enjoyed it. Fantastic. Thank you very much for coming along. <laughs> how was the day? The day was bloody excellent. Terrible. In every minute of it. I noticed. I won't, I won't come again. <laughs> Depends if I tickle you. You tickle me, I'm definitely coming again. <laughs> it's a clan member perk. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Where are you going, Pete? Pete, where are you going? Put your camera away. How are you? Have you had a good day? I've had a lovely day. It's all man. Good to see you. See you, brother. Slice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hiya! How do? You alright? This is the Harley Technician crew. <laughs> Thank God for these guys. Got the Harley back on the road. Cheers, boys. Good call. Alright, I've had to come out. It's a bit loud in there. Hiya! I've had to come out. A bit loud in there. Folks, hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a great old giggle. Thank you so much to everybody that turned up. Uh, keep on checking out. There's another video popped up right here. Oh, that's Dale. There's another video just popped up right here. Check that one out for us. And uh, folks, keep doing your thing. Look after those that you love. Get on out there. Uh -huh. Get on out there whenever you can. But most importantly, most importantly, live your life. Woo-ha! Oh, steaming. Steaming.